Hang all the mistletoe I'm gonna get to know You better This Christmas And as we trim the Welcome back. So I created this festive AF holiday look for y'all. Like, it's literally like super Christmas to me anyways. Um, also, sorry about the noise that you may hear in the background during this intro. Um, my nieces are over right now, so they're downstairs playing, so they're kind of loud. So yeah, I recorded this super festive AF look for y'all and I used the new Max Snowball collection. I hope you guys enjoy this look. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share. Please share. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the quality of my videos looks a lot better. I got new lighting, um, new studio setup, so your girl's out here trying to upgrade herself for y'all, okay? You guys are my Jay-Z and I am your Beyonce. Like, just don't play me for Becky with the good hair, okay? That's all I ask of y'all. That's all I ask. But, um, yeah, if y'all want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, stay beautiful. Mwah. So I'm starting off with Frosted Fizz. This comes in the MAC Eye Compact. It's the gold one. Um, and I'm just taking that shade right underneath the brow bone. I like this color because it's a soft nude and it has like a slight satin finish. So it's not super shimmery. Then I'm going in with, of course, my Sephora Collection Pro Blending Brush. And I'm actually taking a blush called Frankly Scarlet, and I'm placing that in the crease as my transition color. And I'm going to make sure to really blend this color upwards towards the brow bone color that we placed, just so that way everything is very well blended and really diffused. And I'm just going to build that color up until I get the intensity that I'm looking for. Next, I'm taking Love Plus from Sugar Pill. I'm still using the same um, Sephora brush, and I'm placing that more so in the socket of the crease, and I'm blending it into the Frankly Scarlet blush that we placed. Once again, just making sure that everything has that gradient effect, so that way it's very like diffused and smoky. Oh, also I'm using a different blending brush, so it's the same Sephora brush, I just used a clean one for um, the Love Plus color. And I'm going back in with the one that we used for our transition color, just to further blend everything together. <laughs> So now I'm taking I'm Into It eyeshadow from MAC and I'm using the e.l.f. blending brush. I like this brush because it's tapered and small so it's going to fit directly into the socket nicely. And I'm just going to use that to create some more depth and just keeping it right in the crease in the outer corner, blending it upwards towards the Love Plus color. And once again, going back in with the brush that we used for Love Plus to make sure that everything is well blended. Obviously, you guys know me by now, when I do eyeshadow, I like love for everything to be super blended. So now I'm taking Bulletproof from Morphe, or oh my gosh, now I'm taking Bulletproof from Sugar Pill, and I'm taking a small detailed brush from Morphe, um, the number y'all just saw, it. I don't remember what it said, but I'm placing that on the outer corner, like on the outer half of the eyelid and into the crease. Or not in the crease, but up to the crease. And then I'm going back in with the brush that we used for I'm Into It from MAC, just to make sure that it blends well. So now I'm going in with the NYX white eyeshadow base and I'm going to use um, the Sugar Pill lip brush for this just so that way I can create a nice crisp clean line and I'm just going to do a half cut crease. 
I will say with the shadow that I'm going to place on top, it would have looked really cool with either a green or a red base underneath as well, which I'll explain to you guys why later on once we get to the shadow. I'm packing on Stylishly Mary. This is a MAC Extra Dimension eyeshadow from the Snowball Collection. This one's so bomb because it reflects gold, red, and green. It's so pretty and I think it's super like Christmas AF. Like, I know I keep saying that, but it's like, it's so Christmas. Like, I love this color. It's so pretty to me. And I'm also going to foil it as well, which you guys didn't see, but I did apply the shadow damp to really intensify it. These extra dimension shadows are so pretty. Now I'm taking Crystal Jade. This is a NYX liquid liner. And I'm just going to go right along the crease that we cut. Just to kind of add a little bit of, I don't know, some extraness. Now I'm taking my Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade Fine Wine. I don't mess with Marc Jacobs. I had this liner before the scandal, but I'm just placing that on the lower lash line. And I'm taking this small detailed brush from Morphe. This is the Morphe M149. And I'm using it to smudge it out with a little bit of the Frankly Scarlet blush from MAC. <laughs> M321. I'm going to take Bulletproof Shadow from Sugar Pill again and just place that on the waterline and blend it into the red that we placed on the lower lash line. And don't poke yourself in the eye like I did. So now I'm going to add some glow to my skin because y'all know me. And I am using Happy Go Dazzling. This is the face illuminating powder from the Snowball Collection. And I'm placing this on the highest points of the face to give me that extra glow. And this brush is the MAC, I believe it's the 140. You all see the correct name in a minute here. So this is a fluffy fan brush. I love it so much. It gives you glow, but it's not like packed on. It gives you like that soft finish, but you still get like a nice highlight with it. And I'm really just building it up because uh, I love to glow, if you know me. And I'm just going to highlight my nose with that as well. Now this brush is um, some random brush that I got off of Amazon. I have no clue what it's called. That's why you don't see no little um, call out for it. And now I'm going to line my lips. So I'm going to use Vino Lip Liner first from MAC. And I'm just going to, I'm not overlining my lips today. I'm just going to, you know, follow my natural lip line. take night moth lip liner I'm mostly focusing this towards the outer corners um, just to kind of give a little bit more depth to the lip liner so that way when we place that lipstick on we have a nice pouty finish to the lips <laughs> now I'm gonna take my lipstick from the snowball collection this is in the shade Ella Bell and this color is so pretty to me it's a really nice like fall wine like a to like a merlot I guess you would say but it's such a pretty color to me and that is it for this look I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and as always stay beautiful Mwah. bye